Hey guys, Nash here back with another room video. So today we are going to review Siberia project. It's a unique name and it's a unique room based on Android Pie. Has some cool new features. So let's get started. So first thing first, when I installed this room, it was version 1.0. But by the time I was reviewing this room, a new OT update came version 1.2 and added many features. So please keep in mind this review is not for version 1.0, it is for version 1.2 which is latest right now. And now you already know that this room has OT updates and it comes with the latest security patch of 5th October and as you can see this is version 1.2 Siberia project. So this is the kind of home screen you get from very first boot, very simple launcher, nothing special here. But when you go to app drawer, you find FM radio, which not many rooms include nowadays, but it's good to have. Okay, now let's go to setting menu and find out what kind of features this room provide. So when you go to setting menu, you find this separate tab called Siberia settings and you can find all the features inside that like system customization, panel, lock screen, battery setting and when you tap on this about section you can see the whole developer team and you can directly contact them via telegram. So this is amazing and it shows that how serious they are about this room. Other features are quite normal like status bar customization and lock screen customization. So let's talk about the unique features this room provides. So when you go to systems, you find this feature called standby apps. It means you can put any app on standby mode and by doing this, that app won't send you notification, that app won't use your network and it will save your battery life. So there is one more feature called app OPS and with this feature, you can control how much of your personal information you want to share with the apps. For example, Google Play services can access my location it can read my contacts, it can read my calendar, it can read my SMS. And there is also one option called write SMS, which of course I have disabled. And if you're using apps like Facebook or Messenger or any other third party app, which uses your personal information for their personal gain, then you should use this feature and disable all the permission that you think they don't require. So I have been using this room for a few days and in the version 1.0 I had many random reboot while playing PUBG but with this new update PUBG is quite stable, there is no lag and no overheating. Also the performance in this room is quite smooth, RAM management is good. Camera is the only minus point in this room and that's because it's just standard AOSP camera but you know you can always install Gcam if you want. Battery life is very average, I got around 7.5 hours to 8 hours of screen on time but the standby time is good if you leave your phone 100% in the night, in the morning it is going to be around 95% means only 5% battery drain overnight. And guys recently I did a live stream Q&A and if you missed it, don't forget to subscribe to my second channel because on that channel I'm going to do live Q&A every Sunday 10 am Indian time and 4 pm Australian time. So if you really want to ask me something, this is your chance, subscribe to my second channel and every Sunday we are going to do live Q&A and also we are going to play PUBG in a custom room. So if you want to kill me on PUBG, make sure you subscribe to my second channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like this video. This is your friend Nair signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.